brothers and sisters welcome to this holy mass in divyavani tv channel the mass intentions of today archdiocese of hyderabad gagalpuram parish this mass is offered for divyavani corpus fund donors george reddy and eriva gnanamma retired teacher for good health of pratap reddy sunita tumaludish reddy what is live amma and good future of children thanksgiving for all the graces received by family members today's rosary divine mercy chaplet word of god holy hour are also offered for this family and their intentions In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today the mother church is celebrating the feast day of our lady of rosary as we know this month is dedicated to mother mary and rosary we have already began the rosary devotion as we are growing praying together with mother mary let us confess our sins so that God will accept our prayers. I confess to Almighty God and to you, to my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us who give us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray Pour forth we beseech you O Lord your grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your son was made known by the message of an angel may through the intercession of blessed virgin mary by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of resurrection who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit forever and ever amen first reading reading from the letter of st paul to galatians chapter 3 verses 7 to 14 a reading from the let 
Letter of St. Paul to Galatians, chapter 3, verses 7 to 14. Brethren, know then that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham and the scriptures foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preaching the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, In you shall all the nations be blessed. So then, those who are of faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. For all who relay on works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law and do them. Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. But the law is not of faith, rather the one who does them shall live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree, so that in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come to Gentiles, so that we might receive the promised spirit through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. The Lord Lord keeps keeps his covenant covenant ever ever in mind. mind. I will praise the Lord with all my heart. In the meeting of the just and the assembly, great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who delight in them. Your response, the Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. The Lord Lord keeps keeps his his covenant ever in mind. Majestic and glorious his work. His justice stands firm forever. He has given us a memorial of his wonders. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Your response, the Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. The Lord Lord keeps keeps his his covenant covenant ever in mind. was the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you Hallelujah Hallelujah And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 11, verses 15 to 26. At that time, when Jesus had cast out a demon, some of the people said, He casts out demons by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, while others, to test him, kept seeking from him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against their itself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. 
and if Satan also is divided against himself, how will this his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebub, and if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom your sons cast them out, therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed girds his own play, palace, his good goods are fa safe. But when one stronger than he attacks him and overcomes him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoil. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it passes through waterless places seeking rest, and finding none, it says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds the house swept and put in order. Then it goes and brings even other spirits, more evil than itself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today's Gospel reading seems to be some strange passage for us. Why? Because Jesus had been doing good to the people, to the society. He is convinced that he wanted to eradicate evil from the face of the earth. He goes on healing the people. He goes on curing the people chasing out the devils. At that point, some came to him because they have seen Jesus cast out a demon from the boy who is deaf and dumb. And people, those who are normal, making a comment on the situation there saying, Jesus, you are casting out demons from the help of a Beelzebub, who is the prince of demons. Dear brothers and sisters, sometimes we, normal people, able to speak, able to hear, misunderstand the power of Christ today. A boy who could not speak and hear obeyed the will of God and he was surrendering to the Jesus for healing and Jesus cast out the demon. What is lacking for us? All our organs are normal, functioning well, but we are sometimes sick with a internal wounds. We are sometimes having a, a less of faith. That's what we need to improve. That's why we read in the Holy Gospel, once Jesus' disciples came to him and uh, requested, Lord, increase our faith. Increase our faith. That's what in today's first reading also mentioned St. Paul to Galatians. When you have a sufficient faith, a strong faith, a sanctified faith, you understand clearly, distinctly who God is for you. God has come to remove the curse from us, from the humanity. 
the curse of sin he removed in the process of removing that curse he became a curse for our sake he bore our our pains and he died on the cross and what do we feel today what is our response to the death of christ on the cross we are happen to born as a christians and how much personal conviction and faith we have in jesus christ is it a routine and a regular act that we simply go to the church and pray every sunday because of my parents my grandparents or am i having a personal encounter with christ who is christ for me personally the pharisees those who are under the law misunderstood the christ and his power jesus is telling i am casting out the demons by the power of god's finger if you believe so the kingdom of god is upon you you are under what shade today are you under the kingdom of god today are you under the kingdom of satan today what is confusing what is disturbing what is how you are struggling in your spiritual growth as we celebrate our lady of rosary it is mother mary through whose intercession we enter into the kingdom it is mother mary's pure intercession and prayer and her personal sacrifice we could get the salvation today she sacrificed her will her wish her joys her her plans as any other girl to marry someone and have good family life but when gabriel came angel hail mary full of grace god is favored you god wants you and she gave up all her plans that day will be done she surrendered because of her surrender to the word of god in faith we could get christ as our savior we are redeemed we are brought out of the curse and today she is still praying for us all the disciples left christ all the people those who benefited from christ jesus they all left him all he was alone on the cross in the mount calvary only the virgin mary the mother mary stood under the cross and praying for the world mother mary the best possible prayer for us today is the rosary the family which prays the rosary daily will be knit together they enjoy the grace of god the favors of god they will never be ashamed they never have the problems and struggles we know how mother helps his children when she was invited to the marriage at cana she was overseeing everything she was observing everything when she understood there was a lack of wine she went to the jesus and asked do something for them even before we ask any favor it is mother who perceives it is mother mary who understands our needs and intercede for us and jesus never denied 
dear brothers and sisters as we celebrate today a day of rosary a devotion to rosary not only today not only this month recitation of the rosary must be part and parcel of our life as we recite the rosary our faith increases our trust in god will increase and we will never fall into any worldly weaknesses any sinful nature let us take rosary as our spiritual weapon to win this evil world father son and the holy spirit Lord, make us ready now to share this meal. Sign of our life in you. Lord, make us ready now to share this meal. Sign of our life in you. We bring you this food spread a stain of human toil This bread that what food of slavery This bread which brings to man each meal which men have shared in happiness Lord, give it power to make us free. Lord, make us ready now to share this meal. Sign of our life in you. Lord, make us ready now to share this meal. of a life in you. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and our good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring. and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten son and to be made worthy of his promises who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god and to praise bless and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever virgin mary for by the overshadowing of the holy spirit she conceived our only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light Jesus Christ our Lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominion sadars and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Sing, O sing, O O to the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory heaven and earth are full of your glory sing O Santa sing O Santa O Santa to the are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, as we, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Antony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen let us say the prayer taught by christ our father who art, art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ to set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us your peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the banquet of the lamb Lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof But, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed prayer of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come into my heart spiritually i embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself to you holy never permit me to be separated from you amen my jesus my savior Lord there is none like you All of my days I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love My comfort my share Tower of refuge and strength Let every breath All that I am Never cease to worship you Shout to the Lord Mountains bear down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. For
let us pray we pray o lord our god that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death and resurrection of your son so being made partakers in his suffering we may also merit a share in his consolation and in his glory who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen mass is ended let us go and love the lord thanks be to god Come to the throne of praise O oh, come to the heart most pure To Mary a hope of life In whom salvation is sure O oh, lady of rosary hail Immaculate Mother of Grace Oh, pray for us, help us today The hope of the human race Immaculate Heart we kneel To call sacred all to Thee The present is pain and joy The future all it may be O Lady of Rosary, hail Immaculate Mother of Praise O pray for us, help us